What's up, guys? It's Jim Bob here, back with another Merge. Excuse me, back with another Flashing Lights video. In today's video, we're going to be playing as paramedics with the London Ambulance Service. Right now, it looks like we've got a call about chest pain. And it's going to be in suburbs east. So, why don't we head over there? So, we're going to be using our Ford Transit Ambulance right here to respond to calls and save some lives. So, so without further ado, let's waste no time and get this episode started. Okay, looks like we're arriving on scene. Looks like it's going to be inside this house. The door is not locked. The door is locked. Usually, if this was real, we would have the fire department come, but since this is single player and we don't have the fire department, we're just going to use a halogen. But let's go see if we can find anyone. Hello, this is the London Ambulance Service. Is there anybody, anybody home? Okay. Hello, sir. I'm a paramedic. What seems to be the problem today? You're having chest pain. Okay. Can you tell me how it feels? All right. It feels like an elephant is crushing your chest. Okay, sir. I'm gonna give you aspirin. Okay. Okay, everything looks fine. We're gonna take him to the hospital. We will check his vitals. Also, why can't the defibrillator be used? Well. We're just going to say that we use a defibrillator and we're now going to take him to the hospital. Okay. Alright, so we're going to take you to London Hospital.
sir. We're at the hospital now. The doctors and nurses are going to take care of you. And find out what the problem is. You're going to take care now. Alright guys, that's our first transport of the day. We're going to go back in the service to see what other calls we can get. Looks like we got a MVA. However, in England they will call that a road traffic collision. So. Looks like that MVA spawned out. So we're just going to go hang out at the hospital and see what other calls we can get. Okay, looks like we're going back to suburbs east for an allergic reaction. We'll just stop at that car because that would be a very bad day. Okay, we're on scene and let's go find our patient. Oh, he's right in front of us. Hello sir, how you doing? I'm a paramedic with London Ambulance Service. So you had an allergic reaction, right? Okay. Did you eat or consume something for the for the reaction? had a peanut butter sandwich okay you might be allergic to peanut butter so I'm gonna give you some medicine and we're gonna take you down to the hospital to find out why you had your allergic reaction okay Thank uh -huh. 
Okay, so we are right at the hospital now. We're gonna drop off our patient. Okay, so we're at the hospital. Okay, you go have a nice recovery. Hope you make a full recovery, buddy. Okay, now we're going to go back into service. We did 10. Okay, that's cool. We're going to go back into service and see what other calls we can get. So stay, so stay tuned for that, guys. Alright, guys, now we're heading to Suburbs West Priority 1 for an unconscious party. This is a very serious call because they're unconscious, they could have went to cardiac arrest, slipped, fallen, could have passed out. We won't know until we get there. However, if they are not breathing and they are in cardiac arrest, we are going to do CPR and see if we can save them. If we can get there quickly, then we can have a higher chance of saving them. So, no time and get there Okay, we're on scene. It looks like they're gonna be in this house over here, so. Hello, London Ambulance. Is anybody home? Okay, so no one answered, so we're gonna bust down the door. Hello, London Ambulance. Okay, it looks like we got someone unconscious over there. So, we're going to need a defibrillator and a medic pad. So, we're going to go up there and do a patient assessment. So, we're going to... He's, he's unconscious, but he's breathing and he has a pulse. So, he's probably just asleep. So I guess probably fell down and passed out. So looks like he's fine. His glucose level very low, so probably had a he probably like had a diabetic emergency and passed out. Let's get the uh, defibrillator and check his heart rate. Okay, looks like he has a steady. Gl looks like he has a steady heart rate. So we're gonna go check his glucose. Also, I don't even know why it's making me take the glucose test again, but. Wait. So we're gonna establish an IV and give him some sugar. 
to make the blood sugar go up and we're gonna move him to the stretcher and take him to the hospital so he probably passed out because of the low blood sugar and we're gonna take him to the hospital his pulse is fine everything's fine well, I guess we just need to like to make that sugar go up so I don't this is probably not like a very serious call, but we're just gonna head over there. Like the sirens would not go that fast. Like we're not gonna like go at much more greater speeds. <coughs> honestly, honestly, guys, thank, honestly, like thank you guys so much for like getting out the way, like. See, like that was very impressive I couldn't lie like how they got out of the way like that Okay, we're at the hospital. The doctors are gonna check his blood sugar and stuff, and hopefully they can help this guy out. Okay, buddy, you're gonna you're gonna make a full recovery. Over, you're not like like that bad. You just need a little sugar, okay? So go take care. Looks like you've got a possible hit and run at, at event 32, so let's see if we can get there. Okay, looks like we got a possible hit and run with, no, it looks like we got a hit and run possible bone fracture. On scene, looks like we got one male that is on the ground in the middle of the road. So we're just gonna back our ambulance behind the cops so they can protect our loading doors. And now we're gonna evaluate our patient. Okay, let's check our patient. Hey dude, how are you doing? I'm a paramedic with London Ambulance. How are you feeling? Okay. Your right arm hurts? Okay, you broke your right arm. Can you move your fingers? Can you move your toes? Can you... Okay, so... I'm gonna put a splint on your right arm okay because it's broken like do you know how fast the vehicle was traveling when it hit you you don't know okay Okay, 
Okay, sir, we're gonna take you to the hospital to get to get your arm fixed, so we're gonna we're gonna go on a ride on the ambulance, okay? Now we're gonna take him to the hospital. Okay, we're at the hospital now. Okay, sir, we're at the hospital. The doctors are gonna take a look at your arm. And... And help you out, okay? Take care now. Okay, let's see... What other calls we can get now. Alright guys, so now we're heading back to Suburbs West for a gunshot wound. Right now the police are on scene and advise that the scene is code 4, so that means the police to move into the scene and help the patient and take them to the hospital. So we're gonna go to the scene and see if they see where the gunshot wound is. Help them out and Possible and go from there. Okay, we're on scene, but I don't even know where the patient is at. Hey guys, hey dude, where's the patient at? Cause... Things locked, so... Let's see if the patient's in there. Probably not gonna be in the bathroom. Okay, in here, so okay, I don't see anything. Uh, so I guess the guy, so I guess that's the guy buried, so I guess, so, oh, that's our patient over there, he's buried in the ground apparently, how did he even get in there, probably a glitch, anyways, let's go help this guy before he bleeds out, okay, oh, okay, looks like the gunshot wounds in his left arm, okay, Checking anywhere else. Okay, looks like the gunshot wound's only in his left arm, so we're just gonna start an IV and put pressure on the wound so he doesn't bleed out. Saline drip. We're gonna. Put, we're gonna apply pressure.
Okay. Now we're gonna check her to the hospital where they will maybe might remove the bullet and also help her get better. So let's get there quickly. Okay, we're arriving at the hospital now. Alright ma'am, we're at the hospital. The doctors and nurses are gonna help you out. Hope you hope you get better, okay? Alright guys. So the video is going to end over here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to all to never miss new videos like these. Make sure you also comment down below on what I should do next. Click either of these two videos that you see on your screen and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.